Hi, I just turned 24 years old. My birthday is August 24th, so it was my golden birthday. And I dreamt of turning this age for most of my life, 24 being my favorite number. So this birthday sparked more self-reflection than all the other birthdays. And I thought I would share 24 lessons I've picked up on this journey that is life in honor of turning another year older and hopefully wiser. There is a Beyonce song for every mood. This B-Day mood, get it, B-Day, B-E-Y, Beyonce, B-Day, because it's my birthday, never mind. This B-Day mood is run the world. You're never too old to learn a new instrument or language. Exercise is wonderful not only for our physical health, but for our mental health too. Being able to metabolize my emotions through movement has been invaluable. And even though I dread every workout for about two hours leading up to each one, by the end, I'm always grateful I did it. We all can and must take action to fight climate change. Whether it's eating more plant-based foods or recycling or choosing more environmentally conscious brands, the change begins within each of us. If you're in high school and you're crying over a boy or girl, 97% of the time you'll look back in five years and laugh at how madly in love with them you were or thought you were. And what feels like the apocalypse now will one day just be a chapter in your life and not the whole book. Masking up and getting vaccinated save lives. I suffered from an eating disorder and body dysmorphia for many years and that experience taught me many, many lessons. One of them being that I am not a mannequin, not a spectacle, nor a fantasy. I am a living, breathing human being and I will have cellulite and stretch marks and acne and acne scars and enlarged pores and and my face will never be symmetrical and my nose hairs will grow weirdly long and my boobs will always be uneven but guess what? That's called being human. I am more than a face, I am more than a body. I am home to a life and a soul and the least I can do to thank my body for everything it allows me to do is not to pick it apart and deprive it, but to nurture it and protect it. Don't take life too seriously. My mom is my favorite person because she will make an absolute fool of herself if it means making everyone else around her belly laugh until we're in stitches, shaking with laughter, and I aspire to be more like my mom. There goes the rain, oh no! You won't appreciate the sunshine if you don't experience the rain. My mom always reminds us of these two quotes. Words once spoken cannot be taken back and speak when you are angry and you will make the best speech you will ever regret. And to be honest, I debated whether or not to even include this lesson because Lord knows, as recently as 48 hours ago, I said some things that I never should have said to someone I love deeply, whom I would never dream of hurting, and yet I did. So this lesson is still very much one I'm trying to hammer into my head. Um, but I did promise that this channel will be about growth and vulnerability, and so here's hoping that by this time next year, that lesson will have been cemented in my mind and heart. Or sooner, sooner than next year, I hope. Lin-Manuel Miranda is a genius. It is our civic responsibility to vote, so please register if you haven't already. We deserve compassionate public servants who value integrity, equality, and human life above all else, so please register. There is zero shame in seeking mental health support and going to therapy and taking medication for anxiety or depression. Vulnerability is a show of strength, and if you have taken that courageous step to begin to heal, I am so proud of you for whatever that's worth. probably means nothing to you, but you can't stop me being proud of you. In a world of screens and machines, there is something about turning a physical page that feels so incredibly grounding. So read a book and then pass it along. Meditation is scientifically proven to be brain-changing and, in turn, life-changing, I believe. 
taking 10 to 15 minutes in the stillness of the morning to focus on my breath and to set my intention for the rest of the day has been truly meaningful and worthwhile. And no, it hasn't been a smooth sailing um, journey with meditation. There are mornings where I take a, a dozen peeks at my phone just to see how much time I have left, but it is a practice and I find that the more gentle I am with myself and the sooner I accept that it will not be perfect, the greater I experience the benefits. Dogs are angels on earth. That said, potty training? Phew! I am tired. My mom made me include this. Drink water. Drink water, kids. Ooh. Stay hydrated. I was vegan for many years and still am to this day predominantly plant-based. So you would think that I love to eat my greens, but quite the contrary, that could not be farther from the truth. Enter green smoothies. If you would rather drink your greens than eat them, green smoothies are for you. I throw kale in there, spinach, celery, carrots, cucumbers, beets, what have you. In fact, I might do a recipe for you, so, so stay tuned for that if that excites you in any way, shape or form. Be present with whomever you're with. One of my pet peeves is when I'm having a conversation with someone and they're constantly on their phone and I know that makes me sound like such a grandma, but while social media has made communication easier, I believe it's made connection harder. So let's be as intentional as possible with the people we get the privilege of spending time with. I think by now the pandemic has taught us all the fragility of life, so let's look people in the eye, share a genuine smile, and make them feel seen and heard in our presence. If you have living grandparents, do not take their wisdom and life experience for granted. My Lola was my best friend. She brought me home from the hospital at one week old, and we were inseparable for the next 17 years. But Still, when she passed, I felt as though I could have gotten to know her even more profoundly if I had just made the initiative. And, you know, I think generally speaking, older people are just waiting for us younger people to ask and to engage and to listen. So, let's do more of that. Diversify your music taste. Don't get me wrong, I love a good top 40 hit as much as the next gal, but you find a treasure trove of brilliance when you look back in history or listen to fresh, undiscovered voices or songs in different languages. Most of my favorite songs, the music that has made me, are from way before I was born. I believe there's nothing on this earth that can transport and transform us quite like a melody and lyrics can, so be open and adventurous. You're not for everybody, but you are for somebody. I believe I heard those words from one of my favorite pastors, Dr. Darius Daniels, and it was one of the reasons I finally took the leap of faith and launched my YouTube channel. I realized that not everyone will like me and not everyone will like what I have to say or what I do, but I have faith that I will eventually find my people. And if my voice and presence on this platform impacts five or 10 or 15 lives and they in turn impact five or 10 or 15 more, I will have created a ripple effect and it will have been worth it. And I hope that inspires you to go after whatever it is your dream is. There will be naysayers, no matter how pure your intentions are. So just go out there and shine your light. Whether it's the family you were born with or the family you chose, hold the people you love close. Never miss an opportunity to tell or show them you love them. Finally, the big two four. YouTube is way harder than it looks. My respect for all you YouTubers has skyrocketed. You make it look easy. Easy it is not. That said, I am so grateful to be here, so grateful to have you here, and that you watched all the way till the end. Thank you. So I know this is called 24 Candles, 24 Lessons. I just gave you the lessons, where are the candles? Well, we finished all my cake before we got the chance to film this, so editing magic will be my saving grace. David, you know where the cake goes. Oh, uh, I missed a spot.
Thank you so much for being here. 24 is looking up. I'm so excited to see where this YouTube journey leads me. Like and subscribe as a birthday gift, maybe. I'll see you next week. Bye.